So a, a key value store is, in essence, a distributed hash table. It is a way for you to store very simple objects, blobs or whatever, across a cluster of machines. And what the cluster does is it provides all the maintenance and failover for you so that you can really store an enormous number of records with extremely low latency. Key, key value store is actually the simplest thing to describe. If you have a piece of data, you give it a name, and you say store it. Uh, it's actually not that different from how you would store files on a file system. Uh, the advantage of a key value store is it does this in a massively distributed way where the nodes themselves can handle failures and the data is replicated. Now what's interesting about key value stores uh, is that uh, these are systems that are designed to, ha to handle truly massive amounts of traffic. So in our test with the major key value store vendors like Couchbase and Aerospike, these vendors are both able to handle transaction volumes into the millions of records per second, uh, millions of operations per second. That's something they were able to do without too much trouble. Now, where these databases tend to blur a bit is both Aerospike and Couchbase, the two biggest uh, key value vendors uh, that we encounter, they have both added document functionality in recent releases within the past uh, seven or eight months. So the line between document databases and key value stores is a bit blurred. Similarly, you know, the secondary index support on these column stores has also blurred the lines a bit between document databases and uh, column family stores, uh, making the distinction between them a little bit harder to gauge. It's more one of nuance than of completely different types. And I should say, last of all, that document databases and column family databases do store their data by key. So they are also key value stores and can function perfectly adequately as a key value store themselves. So the real distinction is, are you more interested in raw scale and raw power? Are you more interested in functionality on the edge cases around document indexing and so forth? Uh, or, or one of the use cases like time series data that column families have been really effective at?